and keep me grounded grinding just like i'm skating so i'll be staying focused the game is up Hey everyone, it is Cryptograns here and welcome back to another Unity Auto Game tutorial video. This is episode 6.1 and today I'm going to be showing you guys the different types of progress bars. I'm personally really excited for this episode because I think progress bars are pretty amusing and I have quite a few different types of progress bars that you guys can implement in your game. So if you find this video helpful and if you enjoyed it, make sure you leave a like, subscribe to my channel if you're new around here and turn on that bell if you want to be notified for whenever I upload videos or go live. Anyways, let's just jump right into it. So first I'd like to explain that I have five progress bars. So let's just go in order. So this is the first one. It's just a normal bar. Uh, and then we have progress two. This is just a circular uh, pie chart one. And three is a similar one, but I have designed my own little progress bar. So it's just like a thin circle. You'll see these in some places um, in different softwares or maybe games as well. Progress four is actually like a little star system. So I only have four stars in this example, but you can probably change this up if you want to do like a health system or something like that. And then the last one is something I put in the background. So this is just an entire background. Um, so it just fills to the top like that. So let's start with how each of these progress bars work and like what's inside each of them. So for each of these, except for the background one, it contains an image. So you see this darker one? This is the background. So this is what actually like holds the fill and the text. So you have this one here. It doesn't do anything. It's just a static background image. And then we also have a fill um, progress bar. So we set an image to the same one as our background here. And then we can just adjust color to whatever you want. And then you set the image type to filled and then you choose the fill method. So this one is horizontal and it starts from the left. You can start from the right side if you want, but that'd be kind of weird in some circumstances. And you can also choose like radial or um, something like that, or maybe um, horizontal or vertical like that. But again, that may look weird in some cases. So this is a horizontal fill and it starts from the left. So you change the fill amount, it goes from zero to one. So if you haven't played with images like this before, this is how they work. It's pretty basic. So each of these progress bars has a fill and a text inside of them or maybe placed below them. Each of these texts displays a different form of like how full the progress bar is. So this one is just gonna be a normal percent uh, with no decimal. This one is gonna be a countdown to when it's actually full. This one's kind of like just a rating system. So I guess it would be nice if you had like a HP system or something like that. And this one is also a percent, but it shows one decimal. And the background doesn't have any text because it's not really necessary in my example. Now, I have coded all these already, so I want to show you guys them real, real quick. Just remember that this is the first one. This is the second one. This is the third one. The star is the fourth one. And the background is the fifth, the last one. So here's the code. So what the first one is going to do, it's going to fill once per two seconds or 0 0.5 times per second. So I do that by adding 0 0.5 times time dot delta time. And we do the same for all the others, except we change the rates. So this left circle one is going to be filling five times or once every five seconds or 0 0.2 times per second. The one on the right side is going to be filling once per second. So it's just time dot delta time. The star system is going to be filling once per 10 seconds or 0 0.1 times per second. And the background will be the slowest because I don't want to hurt anyone's eyes, but that will be filling once per 100 seconds. So now we know how fast all these are going to be filling up. Let's talk about the text. So for the first one, it's just a basic percent. So let's zoom in here. Um, so basically what we do is that we grab the fill amount for that progress bar. We divide it by one and we multiply by 100. And that's how we get our percents. Because remember, progress bars go from zero to one. And if we want that 100%, we want to start at 0% and we want to get to 100%. So we multiply that zero to one by 100 to get zero to 100. Now, I have also applied the F0 formatting just so we can get um, no decimals. The second one is going to be a time-based thing. So this may depend on like um, what type or how you're using it because sometimes you may have a progress bar for um, like building something and you want to display like how long it's going to take. You're probably going to display this a little differently than I did, but since this is just going to be filling at a constant rate and it's not going to be changing, I just basically did one minus the progress bar or the fill amount and multiply by five. So remember, we're going from zero to one. Okay. And when we're subtracting one by that, 
we're going from one to zero basically. And we wanna multiply that by five because this is gonna take five seconds to fill. So it's gonna go from five to zero. Now this third one is pretty much the same thing as the first one, except I have changed the formatting to F1 because I wanna see one decimal. Last but not least, this is the star one. So this is out of four. So this one's pretty similar to the percent one. Instead, we're multiplying it by four because we wanna go from zero to four rather than zero to 100. So we multiply this whole thing by four and then we just add our divide by four inside the string. After that, I have created a for each loop just to basically reset the progress bar every time it fills by one. So it does absolutely nothing. It's just gonna keep going over and over and over again. So now that you've seen the code, let's actually run it so I can show you guys in live action. So looking at it, there's a lot going on. So let's just start with one. So let me maximize this and let's just focus on one. I can't think I can zoom in like that. Okay, so let's start with this first one right here. So this is filling one every two seconds and it's going from zero to 100%. It looks beautiful, it looks great. All right, so this one, this is counting down from five to zero seconds. So you can see it goes from five, four, three, two, one, zero yeah so you know how that works all right next one is this one so this one feels a little faster this is one every um second you can see it's going pretty fast and we have that one decimal so it looks great and the star system you can see it's going from uh, zero stars to four stars so again you can use this for like your health system or something like that you can go fancy with that and, and there's the background and in the background, you have this very slowly filling background. I'm not sure what you're really going to need this for, but I decided to throw it in just for cosmetic purposes. So now you know how each of these works. Let me just show you the settings for each of these progress bars. So I've already shown you the first one. It's just a, a horizontal fill starting from the left. Let's go to the second one. This one is a radial 360 and it just starts from the bottom. You can change right, top, left, whatever you want, but I'm just going to stick with bottom. Now it's the same thing with the third progress bar. And for the star system, you have the horizontal left fill as well, because it's starting from the left side and it's going to the right. So for the background, it's actually a vertical fill and we're starting from the bottom. You can start from the top and it can go down or it can start from the bottom. So you can use this for whatever you want. In conclusion, we have made a few different types of progress bars and these can be used for whatever you'd like. And I really hope you guys um, found these useful and will implement them in your own games or maybe even software. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like as it really helps out the channel and subscribe to my channel if you're new around here. We're on our way to 5k, so we're almost there. If you want to be notified for whenever I upload videos or go live, make sure you turn on that bell and set the notifications to all of them so you get notified for everything. If you want to support the channel or if you want to become a beta tester for my games, hop on Discord, the link's in the description below, and join my Patreon or become a channel member. Anyways, fellas, this is the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed this one, and I hope you guys have a great day or night. I will see you in the next episode, 6.2, and that will be on smooth progress bars, so we're going to get a little fancy with these. I will catch you guys in the next one. Again, thank you for watching. Peace. I'll be up in class, but my mind is in the clouds, though. Know the teacher's mad because my music beating loud, ho. Tell me keep it down, say I kill it on the down low. And if I turn it up, then I'm bound to attract the crowd. So no wonder me and Tim be out of state doing things you can't imagine. Chris Angel on the mic, give me a beat, I'll show you magic. We born in different places.